Watch what sugar does to our belly. Check this out. Think of these bottles as your gut. Each bottle contains one package of yeast. Now we're gonna add some sugar. So imagine this is sugar that you're getting when you eat a bagel, a muffin, or even a piece of fruit. Okay, the first bottle gets no sugar. The second bottle here got one teaspoon of sugar. The third bottle here got two teaspoons. And the last bottle here got three teaspoons of sugar. So this represents your body metabolizing or breaking down the sugar. Now, here comes the fun part. I'm gonna put one balloon over one of the spouts of each bottle. Perfect. Now these bottles will need to sit for a bit. Ready to see what happened? Look at this. The balloon on the bottle with the most sugar grew to the largest size. On the other hand, the balloon on the bottle with no sugar didn't inflate at all. And this same reaction can happen in your body when you eat sugar. Our gut bacteria feeds on the sugar, breaks it down, and a waste product is released. You guessed it, gas. So now it's easy to see why after eating processed foods, carbs, and sugars, we tend to feel bloated, uncomfortable, and gassy. And unfortunately, this is not the only thing sugar can be doing to your body because that inefficient digestive system can cause your metabolism to slow down leading to unwanted weight gain and other health issues so how can you help your gut to react more like this than like this without completely changing your diet well my number one piece of advice for folks trying to slim down is to know exactly which so-called health foods to avoid harmful food number one is yogurt did you know that one General Mills original Yoplait yogurt contains about twice as much sugar as an entire bowl of their cereal Lucky Charms? Yes, it's true. The way yogurt is marketed makes me sick. Beware of any yogurt with added sugars. Keep in mind, a six ounce yogurt should have about 13 grams of naturally occurring sugar from milk. So anything over 20 grams is a big no-no. Also, beware of any yogurt claiming to give you probiotic benefits. When yogurt is pasteurized, it kills off many of those good bacteria. So unless you're making your yogurt at home, you're not going to get enough probiotic benefits to make a noticeable difference in your digestive tract. Fortunately, our American court system agrees. In 2013, General Mills paid $8.5 million to settle a class action lawsuit that claimed their Greek yogurt was not even a yogurt at all. Also, steer clear of any yogurt containing the number one fat-forming ingredient, high fructose corn syrup. That leads me to my number two harmful food, wheat bread. You may have heard brown bread is better for you than white bread. Yes, that can be true. However, again, the big companies are taking advantage of you here. Wonder Bread Stone Ground 100% whole wheat contains large amounts of my number one fat forming ingredient, high fructose corn syrup. A 2004 study done at the University of Louisiana Medical Center by Dr. George A. Bray linked high fructose corn syrup to the rising rate of obesity in the United States. And I agree. Why is it so bad? 20 times sweeter than sugar, fructose is a chemical that isn't recognized by our brains. High fructose corn syrup confuses your ghrelin, which is the hormone that tells you when you're hungry. It also disrupts leptin production, which is the I'm full hormone. When these two hormones are out of whack, you never know when you're full. So what does your body do? It tells you to eat more and more and more. Dr. David Kessler, former head of the Food and Drug Administration, even appeared on CBS News exposing how high fructose corn syrup literally forces your brain to make you eat more than you should. You see, one thing our bodies are extremely good at is turning unknown substances into fat. The reason we do this dates back to how our bodies were designed thousands of years ago when we got our food by hunting and gathering. Because we never knew when the next meal was coming. Our bodies would store fat in case of tough times. When you consume things like sugar or high fructose corn syrup, things our bodies were never designed to digest, our bodies get confused. So it does the only thing it knows how to do with the foreign substance, it adds it to your waistline, love handles, or butt. So beware of any food that contains high fructose corn syrup. You might as well be pouring fat into your waistline. That brings me to my number three harmful food, cereal bars. Kellogg's Special K is marketed as one of the premier healthy cereals on the shelf. Yet, in Special K Red Berry's Chewy Snack Bar, sugar is a component of the second ingredient and then emerges again as corn syrup. Fiber One Oats and chocolate bars contain corn syrup, sugar, sugarcane fiber, and fructose. Honey Nut Cheerios Milk and Cereal Bars have sugar, brown sugar syrup, corn syrup, 
high fructose corn syrup, and plain old fructose. If that's a recipe for plain old weight gain, if you ask me. Okay, now that I've told you the three foods you must avoid, it's time for me to share my four natural fat loss helpers. However, before I do, I need to warn you, these four fat loss helpers can allow you to get away with eating more of the foods that aren't great for you, as they'll help your body better digest them and turn them into energy instead of fat. However, there is one fat substitute you should never eat, no matter what. Can you guess how this item is marketed to you? If you guessed as a health food, you are correct. This item is usually marketed to you in the form of a fat-free potato chip. The scientific invention behind this fat-free snack is Alestra. Alestra was created by Procter & Gamble to be a calorie and cholesterol-free fat substitute. You might know it as Olean. However, soon after Olean appeared on the market, my colleagues and I fought back. We started educating the public to the dangers of this nasty ingredient. It's truly appalling. However, all the more reason we the public need to educate ourselves. So give yourself a pat on the back for watching this presentation today and don't forget to share it with the people you care about. Now, Alestra or Olean has now been studied by many of my peers. Their tests show it's far worse than gluten or any other carb you can eat. This is because it blocks your body from absorbing essential vitamins, A, D, E, K. Common reactions include diarrhea, cramps, and leaky bowels. Whatever you do, do not eat this ugly carb, whether you're using my four natural fat loss helpers or not. Here are the brands it's found in. The sad truth, there are more dangerous carbs like Olean out there, and the food conglomerates are inventing new ones every single day. Unless you go on an all-organic diet and prepare it in your own kitchen, it's nearly impossible to know exactly what you are putting into your body. The sugar and sweetener content of our food has increased by a factor of 20 times over the last 50 years. Sugars are being added to things you would never expect. For example, here is a bratwurst from Germany. And here's one from America. What's the difference? Yep, you guessed. The American bratwurst contains 50 milligrams of added sugar. It's no wonder the rate of obesity in Germany stays around 10%, while in America, it's at 34% and climbing. Here's what's really interesting to me. If you look at the diet of our country versus Germany, the German diet appears to be worse. Lots of fatty meats, pretzels, and fried dishes called schnitzel are the most popular foods, yet Americans are three times as fat. Years ago, when a patient would come to me and ask for advice on losing weight, I would first tell them, exercise more. However, in this day and age of fake health foods and beverages, exercise is no longer enough. Right about now, you may be wondering if it's possible to lose weight without going on an extreme diet or cutting out sugars and sweeteners completely. The good news is, yes, it is. The truth is, I hate diets. It seems like every few years a new diet pops up and thousands upon thousands of people rush to give it a try. This is good, don't get me wrong. I think diet is a good way to give your body a break from bad foods. However, the thing I dislike is dieting is temporary. Unless you have the discipline to make a diet permanent, it often creates a roller coaster of losing weight, then gaining it back. Nod your head if this has ever happened to you. This is why I don't recommend dieting as the best way to slim down. I feel the same way about cleansing. Have you ever tried a cleanse? Then a few days later, found yourself back to eating the same bad stuff? These are the reasons why I do not recommend dieting or cleansing to my patients or to you. Instead of doing something temporary, I recommend you take a lifestyle approach. A lifestyle approach is a strategy that works with your busy life, doesn't require drastic change, and gets you the results you want to see and feel. Last but not least, it's easy to maintain. Surprisingly, the lifestyle approach I'm going to spell out for you now can often result in fat loss faster than crash dieting, and the best part? It requires just one simple change that takes just three minutes a day and gives your body support in burning fat all day. Here's a graph on how fat loss works when you go on a crash diet. And here's a graph of how your fat loss can work when you take a lifestyle approach. Sure, it begins slower. However, notice how your weight is much more likely to stay off over the years? Which one would you prefer? If you're trying to drop five sizes in a week, go ahead and click away now. That's simply not possible to do in a safe manner without surgery. However, if you'd like to, watch your weight get lower and lower each and every day. Give your body the best chance at lasting weight loss that makes you feel great about the way you look. Not have to worry about your fat ever coming back. And still enjoy your favorite foods. Then pay very close attention to what I'm about to say. I urge you to combine the four things I'm about to share with you with daily physical activity for maximum results. 
However, if you fear your busy schedule may get in the way of daily exercise, then it's even more critical you take action here. While the information I'm going to share with you now is simple, it's taken me two decades of helping overweight patients get slim to discover it. I can confidently say that what I'm about to show you is something you have never seen before with any weight loss system, diet plan, workout regimen, or anything else. You see, most approaches try to go after the fat on your body directly. They either tell you to burn it off with intense exercise or tell you to starve it off with an extreme diet. Instead, I'm going to recommend you start at the source. I'm talking about your digestive system. As you know, your digestive system exists to help you process food. Food contains the building blocks of your body's tissues and is the source of your body's energy. However, today's food is very different from that of our ancestors. As I showed you with the three harmful foods, we often eat things our body has no idea how to turn into tissue or energy. And do you remember what your body does when it ingests something unknown? If you said turns it into fat, you're absolutely correct. Here's a little jingle I tell my patients to help them remember this. Your digestive system can either make you energy or it can make you fat, but it cannot make you both. Let me say that again because this is important. Your digestive system can either make you energy or it can make you fat, but it cannot make you both. So what is your digestive system doing now? Do you find yourself having lots of energy or sluggish? Do you need caffeine to get yourself through the day? If you've found yourself having less energy and gaining more weight, I can tell you as a medical professional, your digestive system is to blame. Noted weight loss expert, Dr. Jeremy Webster agrees. In his words, poor digestion is one of the common causes of weight gain. If you cannot break down your food, absorb your nutrients, and eliminate toxins effectively, your metabolism will suffer and you will most likely gain weight. Here are a few other warning signs your digestive system could be responsible for excess body fat. Food sensitivities. Yes, I'm talking about dairy or gluten, bloating, excessive trips to the bathroom or not being able to go to the bathroom completely, skin breakouts, low libido or for men, lack of bedroom performance, bloating, gas or cramps, bladder issues or infections, including yeast infections, depression, inability to concentrate or brain fog, allergy flare-ups, as well as low immune function. Do you find yourself suffering from any of these things? If you do, your digestive system needs more support. The good news is once you begin giving it the support it needs, you may notice not just fat loss, but a disappearance of other bothersome issues. It's amazing how much improving your digestion can improve every area of your body. And that brings me to my four natural fat loss helpers because you see, while I call them fat loss helpers, what they really are is digestive system helpers. There are four of them because they each fight one of the four enemies of poor digestion. Number one, food preservatives. Number two, bad gut bacteria. Number three, overeating. And number four, slow metabolism. My first natural fat loss helper is best explained with a hilarious yet freaky story. It was going around the internet last year, perhaps you saw it. David Rinkle discovered an old McDonald's hamburger in a coat pocket, a burger that had been aged for 14 years. When he opened it up, he was shocked to discover it looked exactly the same as a fresh McDonald's hamburger. How? The answer is simple. It was packed to the core with preservatives. And the sad truth is it's not just McDonald's foods. Much of the food you encounter every day is the same. Breads, meats, canned foods, anything that big food manufacturers want to stay fresh longer so they have a bigger window to sell it to you and a better chance of making a profit. What preservatives do is prevent bacteria from breaking down food. Here's the problem. They make it very tough for your stomach to break it down as well, or even know that it's food at all. The preservatives form a block around your food, and do you remember what your body does when it finds something foreign? Yep, it turns it into fat. That, or it runs it straight out of your body undigested. This is why preservatives are responsible for many digestive problems you may have experienced. Too many trips to the bathroom, bloating and gas, heartburn or indigestion, and most often constipation. One of the things that doesn't help matters is how fast we eat our food these days. You may have heard that you're supposed to chew each bite of food 40 times. This can help our battle against preservatives. However, in today's busy world, many of us forget. Another issue with preservatives is they make it hard for our bodies to get all of the nutrients out of our food. That can put your body in a mode of fat storage. When you're not getting enough nutrients, your body holds on to the fat it has just in case nutrients stop coming in. It's a protection mechanism that can make it almost impossible to lose weight. If you've tried dieting or exercising but still couldn't lose those stubborn pounds, this is probably why. 
Fortunately, Mother Nature has a solution to help fight preservatives, and this will also help you if you're a fast eater. Take three powerful nutrients called amylase, bromelain, and lipase before you eat. These three nutrients are digestive enzymes, powerful natural extracts that cut through preservatives and aid your body in the process of digesting food. However, do not go and grab any bottle of digestive enzymes off of the shelf, as not all are created equal. It's critical that you get one that contains these three nutrients, as each one plays a different role in breaking down proteins, carbohydrates, and fats. Bromelain also has properties that fight inflammation and support digestion of grains. If you've ever wondered how celebrities and wealthy folks stay so thin, well, there's a good chance that one of the tricks they use is to carry these three digestive enzymes around with them and take them with every meal. They allow you to get maximum amounts of nutrients out of everything you eat. Yeah, even carbs. That is what makes them my first natural fat loss helper. And they are proven to work. In one study that followed 260 people using digestive enzymes over a seven-month period, 90% reported experiencing positive results, which included weight loss, foods tolerated, digestion, energy level, sleep, and overall appearance. As a physician, I can tell you that a 90% success rate when it comes to just about anything is phenomenal. Okay, now for my natural fat loss helper number two. This thing is called a candida, and he is not a helper. Candida is a form of yeast that lives in your digestive tract along with 25 trillion other bacteria. It's okay to have a small amount of candida in your body. However, can you guess what candida feeds on? If you guess sugar and sweeteners, you're absolutely correct. Sugar feeds candida to the point where they can begin to overgrow in your stomach. And we all know how much sugar we Americans are now consuming every single day. When candida overgrow, they begin to spill through your entire gastrointestinal tract and into your bloodstream. These yeast and fungi particles can wreak chaos throughout your entire body, depriving you of energy, slowing down your metabolism, causing brain fog, and hurting your concentration. They're also the culprit responsible for yeast infections, and when you have gas or bloating, it's often because these bad bacteria are feasting on the sugar in something you ate. However, here's the really scary part. These bacteria have also been known to hijack hormones and create cravings you may not have had before. Yes, you heard me right. Candida and its ugly bacteria friends force you to begin craving the foods they want. Next time you find yourself craving carbs or sweets or pizza or pasta, know that it's probably just those bad bacteria down there yelling, feed me more sugar. Put your hand on your stomach right now. If you feel more fat there than you would like to, you may have these bad bacteria to blame. You see, not only can these yeasts clog up your system, slow down your metabolism, and make you crave bad foods, they also make it much harder for your good bacteria to get the nutrients out of your food. You'd think it'd be hard enough with all the preservatives. Now your good bacteria has to fight your way through those bad fungus too. Once the fungus is addressed, many of my patients report feeling as though a weight was lifted from their stomachs. As doctors Caroline Dean and William Crook declared in their 2005 book, The Yeast Connection and Women's Health, most women don't have even an inkling that their symptoms could be caused by yeast overgrowth in their bodies. The number of women suffering in silence, not even knowing what is really wrong, and blaming themselves for failing is, I believe, literally numbered in millions. Millions of women who can't lose weight and have no idea why. For men, I feel this can be even more true. Fortunately, as bad as this problem can be, the solution is easy, and its source is Mother Nature. You may have already heard about probiotics, what probiotics are, are clusters of good bacteria that you can now take in billions in one little capsule that go into your digestive tract and help against the bad bacteria. You see, the good news is you don't need to completely eliminate the bad bacteria to start getting your digestive system working properly again. You can start burning fat faster just by simply getting the right ratio of bacteria, which I found working with many of patients over the years to be approximately 75% good bacteria versus 25% bad. Never have more of my fellow doctors stress the importance of adding something to your system than they have probiotics. Dr. Alan Walker, professor of nutrition and pediatrics at Harvard Medical School, recently said, Evidence from clinical research demonstrates that adding good bacteria to the diet promotes a healthy digestive and immune system. And Dr. Michael F. Roizen, New York Times bestselling author and chief wellness officer at the Cleveland Clinic, feels the same way. Taking probiotics is a habit that can really benefit the digestive system, which is intricately connected to our overall health. It's certainly more beneficial than a multivitamin, as the benefits are felt right away and all throughout your body. 
Many are surprised to learn that balancing the bacteria in your digestive tract will often even boost your sex drive and every part of your body begins to work faster. Be forewarned though, not all probiotics are created equal. With their surge in popularity, many companies are releasing probiotics containing cheap strains that dissolve in your stomach before they reach the critical intestinal tract. Dr. David Perlmutter, New York Times bestselling author of the book Grain Brain, recommends you choose a probiotic that contains at least 10 unique strains of bacteria and at least 10 billion colony forming units per capsule. And I agree. Update. I now have a trusted source of high-grade probiotics as well as digestive enzymes that can ship them to you directly and save you a lot of money. I'll share it with you at the end of this presentation. And that leads me to my natural fat loss helper number three. To explain this one, I want to ask you a question, but please answer honestly. Have you ever told yourself, just one bite, then before you knew it, you ate the entire thing? We've all been there. I've even declined desserts out at a restaurant to look healthy in front of my friends, then stopped at the mini market on the way home for ice cream or donuts. As someone who lives in America and eats a diet that probably isn't much different than yours, I know firsthand just how strong your cravings can be. This is why my third trick may be the most effective fat buster of all for you. This helper addresses a problem nearly all of my patients have had who were once overweight and one that can wreak havoc on your digestion. I'm talking about overeating. Overeating hurts your digestive system because your body can only digest so much food in one day. The rest of it, you guessed it, it gets turned into fat. As we discussed earlier, the food cravings we get are not always natural. Fructose makes us think we aren't full when in reality we are. Candida can hijack our hormones and cause us to crave sugars and carbs. And we all know how strong emotional eating and bad eating habits can be, like popcorn during a movie. How can you fight back? Well, there's always strict discipline. However, again, I'd like to recommend to you a solution to kicking those cravings that requires less willpower so you have a higher chance of success. Once again, Mother Nature can help. 